Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my Thursday live. Sorry, my computer over there is talking to me. It's giving me my own face. How are you going today? It's a beautiful Thursday afternoon. It's very cloudy. cloudy. Um, oh, temperature's not warm, but it's not cold. And we're heading into spring. Isn't spring amazing? Look at my amazing orchids here. So, hey, what you've created with over the last few Facebook lives, we've been talking about creating that business plan, taking section on it, developing it out. And I thought I would talk about what stops business owners, whether they're a single a single owner business, a solopreneur, or a small business, or even large businesses from hitting the wall and just stopping and not taking that business plan to the next level. So, hey, so uh, a little bit about me. Hi, I'm I'm Beryl from BBK Mentoring. Yes, you've arrived here. I have a, a I am a certified um, neuro, a master of neuro coach coaching. Sorry, I've fumbled over those words. And I'm a business owner with well over 30 years, actually 31 years experience as a business owner developing different types of companies. I help um, create, creative, creative, um, my, my tongue, I'm trying to tripping over it today, crazy creatives um, um, with their businesses. You know, let's, it's, whether it's a passion for, um, what would we say, for that amazing e-commerce product or it's a service. That's me. I can help you. Anyway, let's move on from my tumble over my words. Um, okay, today I want to talk about the top five things that could put a stop on your business plans. Um, yes, I'm going to be looking down on my notes, so bear with me. I don't want to leave any of the notes out. And usually, whoops, usually I would have them on my board, but today, no. Today they're written down here. But let's get going. Now, the number one thing that I come across when um, I'm dealing with my clients, when I'm dealing with my coaching, when I'm coaching people through their businesses and they say, I say, oh, when did you, have you been quoting on this work? Um, so how did you put the processes through and things like that? So I, get, I suddenly get quite technical and I kind of calm come, come, come down and things like that. And they go, oh, I'm too busy to quote. What? What? You're looking for more work and you're too busy to quote. So, of course, all these little bells and whistles. Do you know how common it is for a business to say, um, I just don't have time. Think of that electrician, you know, A, B, C, D electricians or plumbers or building person or service, handy service person that's coming to your house and they go, yeah, we'll put a quote in the mail, in the email, we'll email it to you. They never do it. Well, how do they know I wasn't that client? How do you know that I'm not that client that wants to spend $100,000 on a job? Maybe the job is going to be really small and you don't want it. You can say that afterwards, but no, I'm so sorry. But put your quotes out there. They're really, really important. This will, if you don't quote, why have you written your business plan? Basic, black and white. You need work. A business will only grow if you are happy to serve who you are serving. Okay. Number one. So what else have I put in here? Oh, don't ignore your clients, your customers. Whether they're customers, clients, it doesn't matter. Don't ignore them. We like love. As a possible client or customer of yours, I want love. I want to, um, sorry, I'm just changing the setting on my computer. I want to help you um, and I want you to help me. If I've broken my, okay, bad example, but what happens if I've broken my loo and you won't, and I need a new bowl put in. I need you to quote, because guess what? I need the toilet. You don't know what your customers need until they tell you. So that until you, so put your quote out there. Don't ignore them, okay? Number two, failure to fix things quickly. 
um, I have a certain um, client that I do some business coaching with and we were talking and I said, how do you keep your processes? How do you tell they've just employed somebody and how do you keep, how do they know what's going on and all these sorts of things? And they go, they don't. I go, what do you mean? It's all in my head. And I'm going, and how's that person going to help you if it's all in your head? So in this case, what we needed to fix is we needed to get it out of his head. We needed to remove it from here and go, hey, what, 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 what we need is a process. We need to put in a process. Go buy a whiteboard. Put the whole of the week's jobs that you have. He's a tree fella. He's an arborist. That's his job. Okay, so let's put all the jobs where all your employees have to be, where everything, because take it. And the one thing that was his problem because that he needed to fix was, I don't have time. Well, if we put in the right process, you will have time. You will, you will be able to hand it on to somebody else. Um, he has just employed this amazing person to work for him. And if it keeps in his head, he's not going to get a break. So fix, failure to fix things quickly um, can, in this case, it was a process. Maybe you just need to change the sales copy on your web page. Maybe a product's got a boo-boo in it. So therefore, you need to get that fixed. You know, let's move, let's move on to it. Let's not hide from the problems. Let's fix them quick, instantaneously. If you need some help. I can help you. That's what this is what it's about. We get the amazing whiteboard out and we go, how do we fix these things? We'll do a brainstorm together. Book an appointment with me. These are, these are the things that we could do. We could do as a um, free 20 minute session, we could do a brainstorm with you and we could see if we could work together to help grow your business. Stop these full stops. So um, number three, if it's all in your head, how's Brad going to tell his employees what he needs to get done? He's not going to be able to. Um, think about the story, and this is back to, because he's a tree fella, that um, if you prune your deciduous trees every year, put it in the diary. If you've got to get somebody not to come in to prune your trees, then that's part of it. It's a process. So. Um, I need to remind um, my girl, um, during COVID, I do not have my girl in house with me anymore. But if I need things done, I need to tell her what I need done. Not just say, hey, she can, through osmosis, she's going to know what's in my brain. <laughs> Think of um, a um, alien or something of the kind. You can see that. If there's an alien that's landed over there and I keep it into myself and I haven't told the authorities, hey, you've got to go, there's a person from Mars over there that you need to deal with, they may not find out for a month, therefore you're not moving forward on this business plan you have developed. So, um, so please, no, just, these are the things that can help. So, um, uh, what else have I put down here? Oh, you may need to set up systems and processes so that at the end of the day, you go, um, Charlotte, could you do this? George, can you do this? Betty, can you do this? And and they've got it in a set work. If you're re working remotely, set up a Google Doc. I can help you set one up. And you can have everybody fill out their section and they can tick as they're going along what they've got done and what they haven't got done. And then you know that people know what the story is. Number four, four I think this one's a real biggie. This one sets off a lot of bells and whistles to me. Going, quoting to the bottom. You underquote yourself and you underquote yourself and you underquote yourself until you are work, you are paying, you are paying them give you the job. You need to earn an income. If you race to the bottom, 
and you're not you're under coach yourself you've still got electricity bill you still have the lights on in your whether you're working from an office or whether you're working from a factory or whether you're working from home like a lot of us are doing during COVID um, you have to pay the electricity bill so don't under quote yourself you've got expenses that you need to cover um, in my other business in my flower business I'm a textile artist I have to quote for the work that I get done. These are some of the amazing things that we've got to think about. And people will say to me, is that a bit expensive? And I've, I've got to turn around to them and say, but that is three hours work. That is five hours work. That is 10 hours work for me to get that job done. Do you really expect me to work for $1.50 an hour? Well, no offense, I'm not working for $1.50 an hour because I'm suddenly paying them to give me my job not a good way to go know your value I've actually written it in big capital letters on my little sheet I've got here know your value because you are valuable to the people that are coming to you you are what they need so cost yourself accordingly because otherwise what's the use of making that business plan you might you'll be out of business in a week in two weeks in a month so now um, number five on the list that and yeah I'm doing the same cliche things I'm doing one to five I apologize but you're addicted to going it alone you don't want to employ anybody because you can do it better you can do it quicker you you know the processes you know why should like Brad put it on a whiteboard I've got it in my head. I know what's going on. You're so used to, you so want to be in control of absolutely everything. You don't want to let go of control. This is actually a limiting belief. This is, this is something that you've said to yourself that you need to do. Well, I'm so sorry, but you've got to let go of this if you want to grow. If you want to take this business plan you have developed, you've been in business for a couple of years and you want to grow to the next level. Well, guess what? You're going to need help to do it. You're going to need to expand your business to grow to that next level. So um, I, I've written down here is know your story, but it's the same story I've told myself. For years and years, I said, I don't need help. I don't need to write it down. I, 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 I know all the processes, I do it better. I'm better at it. Um, um, it frustrates me when I train somebody because they just don't get, they don't hear my voice, they just don't know what I want. How many times they don't know what I want is what my, um, when I mentor, when I'm coaching people in business, they, they, their words were, yeah, but I'm better at it than they are. But maybe if you train up the right person with the right information, with the right um, job description, they can take things off your plate. With Brad, I can tell you today, um, his first thing that was his problem was, going back a few weeks ago, is I don't have time. Guess what? When you bring the people in that can help you, create that business to develop that business to be in that business with you because you're working on the business they're in the business you get you gain back time put in the chat how many people would love to gain back some time so that they can work on what is they're passionate about rather than work in the business down in the trenches and not seeing anything so um I've written here, it's like bungee jumping. You need to trust your instructor that they are going to teach you the right way to do it. I personally would not bungee jump, I would rock climb. But nobody's getting me to bungee jump, nobody's tying things to my feet. But that is, that is just a, I, if you love bungee jumping, put it in the chat. Please tell me. Tell me what it's like to dive off a cliff because I can tell you I'm never going to know because I will parachute. My aim is to go parachuting, but my aim is not to go bungee jumping. I just, it scares the patooties out of me. Okay, but that's just me. That's just who I am. You're uniquely you. 
So what, how are you going to bring in those people into your business that is going to help you expand this business plan to the next level, to, to push it, to push the sides of the box out to, so it can just grow on its own, so it becomes organically bigger and bigger and better and better. I'm not saying there's not going to be problems along the way, but let's get the processes done. Let's get the people in to help you so that you can grow. So let's get that business plan going. Let's develop the business plan together. And this is where I'm good for solopreneurs or business owners that are in a very limited area. We can talk ideas out, we can work together so that we can grow your business into a bigger, better, stronger, healthier way of life. Isn't that, doesn't that sound, does that sound amazing to you? Because it sounds amazing to me. So um, I've put here, sometimes you need to just trust the process. I've got the processes for you and you need to trust that, guess what? I'm there to catch you. I'm there to help you. I'm there to help you grow your business. So if you would love, I would love you to, book an appointment. I've put in the chat here um, my link to my, um, my calendar and book an appointment, a free 20 minute session and we can work together, we can play together and we can have some fun together and we can grow your business to the next level. So um, while, I'm, while we'll just recap on those things, quote number one, you quote, start quoting on your work. Number two, fix the things that are broken. Number three, remind the people that if you've got employees or the things that you need doing, remind them what their job is, help them because they're not going to know unless you tell them. Number four is it's not about how cheap you quote, it's not a race to the bottom. So remember you need to get paid, You're, you are valuable. And no, number five, don't be addicted to going, going it alone. Bring people in to help, bring VAs. There are an amazing group of VAs that you can get that will help you. Anyway, this is Beryl from BBK Mentoring saying, I've had this honor to be here to help you grow your business. And if you'd like to work with me, book an appointment. This is Beryl signing off saying, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Bye for now. Bye. Oops. Tuesday, 12.30. My mistake. 12.30 next Tuesday. Bye for now. <laughs>